We begin with dramatic video released by the UN of a North Korean soldier defecting to the South last week. And in a rare finding, the UN says North Korean troops violated the armistice put in place at the end of fighting in the Korean War. The violation took place in Panmunjom, often called the Truce Village. An actual peace treaty was never signed. The area is jointly managed by the UN command, comprising South Korean and U.S. troops and the North Korean military. Let's look at the UN footage following their timeline minute by minute. November 13th, 3.11 p.m. A military vehicle driven by the defecting soldier is seen traveling at high speed on the North Korean side. The vehicle enters the joint security area, prompting North Korean guards to rush out of their post. The defector ignores the guards and speeds on, crossing what is known as the 72-hour bridge. 3.13 p.m. The vehicle tears across another several hundred meters, then turns right at the Kim Il-sung Monument, approaching the Military Demarcation Line, or MDL. It hits a ditch under a tree and comes to a stop. 3.14 p.m. North Korean guards, alerted, rush out of a facility and toward the vehicle. 3.15 p.m. A soldier emerges from the vehicle and races toward the South Korean side. The four guards give chase and begin shooting. Firing weapons across the MDL is a violation of the armistice. One of the guards continues the chase and crosses the MDL, another armistice violation. After staying on the South Korean side for several moments, he hurriedly retreats. The soldier finally makes it across the border. 3.43 p.m. The soldier is seen collapsed beside a building on the South Korean side. Separate footage from a thermal imaging device shows two South Korean soldiers crawling to the wounded man. A U.S. helicopter transports him to a hospital. The defector had been shot at least five times. At a news conference, the U.N. command spokesperson says the North Korean People's Army, or KPA, violated the armistice in two ways. The key findings of the special investigation team are that the KPA violated the armistice agreement by one, firing weapons across the MDL, and two, by actually crossing the MDL temporarily. The UN command says it has launched a protest with Pyongyang and asked for a meeting to discuss how to prevent a similar occurrence. The defecting soldier was unconscious and in serious condition when he was transported to a hospital outside Seoul. He underwent two operations and is now conscious. The doctor who operated on him held a press conference today. Dr. Yi Kuk Jong says the soldier is able to speak. At first he was groggy and screamed and uttered unintelligible words, but he is recovering very quickly, probably faster than ordinary patients. Yi says the man is listening to South Korean pop music and watching television, but stresses he's still recovering in intensive care. The doctor adds it will be some time before the man can speak to South Korean authorities about the motives behind his defection.